start this off, I'm going to add the recommended dose for seedlings of all three of these mixes into two litres of water, which I measured out earlier. So if you're using these advanced nutrients pH Perfex, first of all, give them a good shake. So the recommended concentration for seedlings is one milliliter per litre for cuttings and seeds. It says two milliliters per litre for small plants with three to four sets of leaves. My plants currently have about two sets of leaves. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give them two milliliters anyway. So the recommended order that you mix these in is micro, grow, and then bloom. So if you add them in the wrong order, the nutrients will actually start to drop out of solution because they will they will react to each other, they'll react with the water differently. You know, I just want to keep it as simple as I can, so two milliliters of the micronutrients going in. Just give my syringe a little rinse out because I don't want to transfer any of that to the next bottle. I'm going to put the cap on immediately because I do not want to spill this stuff. And I'm going to give it a good shake. Just to distribute those nutrients. Now we're going to be moving on to the grow nutrients. Give it a good shake. I'm going to pierce straight down through the top. So this is the grow nutrients. So the recommended dose is also two milliliters per liter. I'm not sponsored by advanced nutrients. They are pretty easy to use already because I have a feeling that all three of them are going to be the same ratio. There we go. There's two milliliters of that growing solution. In it goes. There we go. So, you know what I was saying about making mistakes? Well, how much are you putting in? Putting in two milliliters of each. But doesn't it say two milliliters per liter? Disregard everything I said about the nutrients dropping out of solution. I'm sure that won't happen. I'm going to add micro to the grow nutrients I just put in. <laughs> Give it a good shake. Now I'm going to put the grow nutrients in again because <laughs> I'm so clever now I'm going to shake up the bloom now you might be asking why do I need to add bloom to some seedlings surely they're not going to need those nutrients and well you'd be right but some of the macronutrients that are in bloom and some of the micronutrients as well will actually help the plant to um, to form roots. I think it's either phosphorus or potassium that's responsible for that. I'm 99% sure it's phosphorus that does that. It says two millilitres per litre again, so I'm going to add four millilitres this time all in one go. Wow. <laughs> Innovative. I love how these nutrients are like colour coded. So the micro is kind of this colour as well. The grow was green and the bloom is, is actually pink. That's nice. Bloom nutrients, give it a good mix. So what I am going to do as well is I am going to check the pH. And I calibrated this maybe a couple of days ago, so I'm just going to pour some of my nutrient solution into here, into the cap. So this is the Apera pH 20. It cost me about 
35 pounds. It didn't actually come with a calibration solution, so I had to buy it separately. Still worked out cheaper than buying it new, not complaining. So I'm going to put the cap on it like that, so you got the nutrients in the bottom. Give it a good shake. Press the power button to turn it on. 6.6, 6.5, 6.6, that's exactly what you want it to be, ideally. It does what it, exactly what it says on the tin. Made nutrients that are pH perfect. So what I will say about this is yeah, it it's looks like lovely. Piss. What? It looks like piss. <laughs> it looks like piss. It does look like piss. You know, it's, it's a nice clear solution. It's not got sediment floating in the bottom. It's not got bits particles floating in the top, you know, it's got a bit of chlorine floating in it right now, I think, but that's just because our tap water is absolutely full of chlorine. You know, I'm impressed because the cheap nutrients that I've been using have had loads of brown bits in it that's just covered the roots and they look ugly and horrible, but no, this is nice and elegant. Even after mixing it, you can barely tell I've added anything to it. So when I fill these nutrients, I'm going to want to fill it maybe up to about here on the neck cup. So the bottom of the neck cup should just be about touching the water. And if I move that around a bit and see, is the bottom of the neck cup wet? The answer is no. Now it will be. Just double check. Yeah, that's wet. And there you have it. It's as easy as that. I hope that this video kind of gave you an insight to just how easy crack key can be. I'm hoping that this experiment turns out well. Uh, I'm hoping that it encourages a lot of you to maybe pick up hydroponics as well. So thank you for watching everyone and I'll see you in the next episode.